we would just like to give you a simple example of illustrating the syntax of if statements. We're going to explain the precise logic and also some more insights into the example. Uh, we'll leave that to next week. But for this week, we just program something that's correct and then at least you can uh, take that as a reference point to really understand maybe your lecture where you are introduced the if statements. All right, so now let's do, we're gonna do two versions of the, of the console app. Let's say we wanna get a letter grades, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, from some numerical marks uh, uh, ranging from one, uh, ranging from zero to 100 inclusively. Let's see how we can do this. Okay, right click on uh, the console apps package and say class. Let's say we wanna say, uh, let's say great app. Okay, simple. So now uh, let's say version number one. Okay, let's not worry about, re uh, let's not uh, redo the renaming. Let's just uh, get it right in the first place. Great app one. And with the main method, finish. All right. So now I'm going to omit the comments for stage one, two, three, right? So you're gonna know how to do it, okay? Scanner, control space, and then make sure you have this import over here. And then you're gonna say input is assigned to new scanner, and then system.int, the keyboard. And then we're gonna say the last line should be input.close, okay, over here. All right, so now we want to prompt the user for some numbers for their row marks, ranging from zero to 100, okay? So we're gonna say sys out, okay? And then uh, we're gonna say enter a uh, row mark score, okay? Of course, I gotta spell properly. From zero to 100. So we don't do any error checking for now. We just assume the user is gonna be behaving. So they will send us the uh, uh, correct value. All right, so now we're gonna read some uh, integer from the user. Okay, so now we can say, uh, we can say integer, uh, the mark. The marks will be uh, input dot uh, next int over here. Okay, so now we're going to kind of program the logic like a stage number two. So now rather than writing the line and then refactor to the uh, methods, I'm just gonna write a method right away. So you may wanna get used to this as well. Okay, so uh, think about what's gonna happen. We want to basically uh, convert from numerical marks into string letter grades. That's basically what we wanna do. And the scheme we're gonna need is something like this. Okay, let me show it to you. So this will be the mark uh, grading scheme you must be familiar with. So now if the marks is in between 90 and 100, it's gonna be uh, A plus, right? Otherwise, you know, this that's kind of the range you want to uh, program in into your program. And then notice that the, the, the letter grade cannot be a single character, why? Because for example, A plus, it contains two characters, which cannot be a single character, right? So for the character type, it should only be only, only a single one. But since we got a plus option, so it must be a string. All right, it's a very quick justification. So what I will do is uh, I'm going to say string LG letter grade is assigned to some method call, right? We're gonna create it, let me call it grade. Let me, before I even create a class, I can already predict what's gonna happen. I'm gonna say grade dot, uh, let's say get letter grade over here. And then what input do I need? Of course, in order to do the conversion, I need to get the marks over there. All right, it is expected that this does not compile because if you move your mouse over, it simply says grade, uh, grade cannot be resolved, which means this class has not even been created yet, but I'm gonna do that, all right? All right, so now let's now uh, go back to package explorer. So now I want to create that great uh, class and then also get letter grade. Let me say get letter grade one over here because I want to show you two versions of defining this method here. Okay, so now I can right click on the model and then new and then class. I can say great over here and that's in the model. So we don't click on the main method. We don't do that, no. And say finish. Let's program a little bit over here, right? So now you can see one thing for you to get used to is, this is how you actually use it, right? Let me just copy this usage over here, right? This is how you use it. And then if you go to the grade, so this is the usage, right? I'm just pasted over here. How do I convert this into the definition of a method? First of all, we know that since we want to use uh, the class name to call the method, so that should be a static method. So I would say public static, and then 
get letter grade one, eventually get, get letter grade one is going to be the return value will be assigned to some string variable over here. So that means the return time must be a string, right? I'm just seeing the correspondence over here. And then I can say string over here, the return type. And what about the input parameter type? So now you can see I'm expecting to pass the marks over here, which is of type integer, right? So I can also say, I can say integer over here. So I can say integer marks. Yeah, again, the variable name, of, uh, the parameter name is uh, kind of up to you, but I'll just put the same name over here. As we said before, it's complaining that it, uh, you're, cl you're claiming that this method is going to return string, but nothing has been returned. So we can simply say string over here. Let's say let LG, let it grain, is simply initialized to be, let's say, empty for, uh, for now. And then eventually we'll return LG. All right. At least it will compile. All right. So that's the method we're going to need. Okay, for the first version here. And then you can see at this point over here, you can see the grade uh, over here. So public class, and then uh, I'm just trying to see why there should be a compilation error over here. So grade cannot be resolved. I, th I know why. The reason is, uh, the grade is actually in a different package over here. You can see the grade is in the model package, but the console apps is uh, in another package, right? So if you want to do this, I, I sh uh, this is what you should do. You should really try to say, I want to import that particular package, right? But I believe Eclipse can do this for you. If you move your mouse over over here, you can see one of the uh, uh, option here is import the grade class from the model package, right? That's the important step. If you click on that, Okay, that's imported. So everything compiles right now, right? Please be, be careful with this step. But Eclipse can complete the import statement for you, uh, like what I showed to you. All right, so everything is good. So now I just need to uh, actually uh, uh, output something, right? I can say sys out over here. Okay, uh, it is letter grade. And then whatever LG is, for example, right now, try just try for fun. If I simply say run the console application, so now if I say 100, it is letter grade, right? It's uh, actually good because nothing is being printed. It's simply because you can see at the moments, the uh, get letter grade one simply just return an empty string. Nothing has been programmed over here. That's why we have to do something over here, right? Let's try that. The first version I'd like to show to you is by using uh, uh, like an if else if statements over here. Okay, I can say if the uh, so we we can assume that the uh, range of the uh, of the marks over here is going to be between zero and hundred. That's what we assume. Okay, so I can say this: if the marks is larger than or equal to, let's say ninety. In that case, LG the variable over here should be reassigned to A plus. Okay, let's say that, right? Let me just uh, briefly guide you through the syntax for if statements, but you can definitely look uh, into your lecture notes. So over here, you got if, okay, and then got opening parenthesis, closing parenthesis, whatever you put inside is going to be an expression that returns either true or false. That, that is, it's going to return some Boolean expression. Right, gonna be some returning some boolean value, either true or false. Right, this is a simple one. I'm gonna show you in the second version how you can write slightly more complicated uh, boolean expression using a conjunction or disjunction. We'll, we'll get there. Okay, so now that'll be the first one, and then we can say else if. So if the previous one, if the previous uh, else if. Oh, sorry, S uh, separate words. Else, space, and then if. So we want to know uh, if this particular condition is not satisfied, then we're gonna uh, check this condition. Exactly how to trace it, I'll leave that to next week. For this for this week, just want to give you some right solution and also to at least get something to work, just get you familiar with the syntax. At the same time, you can also learn from your lecture about how, how the if statement work. Okay, else if, uh, if the marks is still larger than or equal to 80, so that's the next range, right? In that case, LG letter grade would be uh, A. Okay, you will do something very similar. Let me just copy this one here. You can have as many else if as you like. The next range will be uh, for uh, 75, I believe, right? 
if that's actually larger than or equal to 75, it's going to be the B plus. And then the next one will be if that's uh, for 70, it's going to be the B. And then we also got uh, 65, so that would be for C plus. And then we also got 60. 60 would be uh, the C. We're getting there. And also we got uh, 55. 55 would be D plus. And also we got 50 over here, so that would be the D, right? We also got E and F. Let's say we just uh, say if you go, uh, if you got higher, uh, sorry, if you got lower than D, you will just be an F. All right, so now we're going to say F over here. Okay, so now here you can either, uh, so now what we can say is if uh, none of the above conditions are actually true, in that case, you just get an else part, which means we're just going to get a default, which means if you didn't get either A plus or A, or B plus, or any of the above grades. That means you must get in an F, right? That's the else part. I will explain this next week in the tutorial video later, right? Yeah, just get this version right. All right, so now that's done. Let's go back to the console application, right? Grade F1. If I click on enter over here, so we're going to get uh, enter row mark score. For example, if I say 90, it's A plus, right? Try again. For example, let's try if you got, for example, 43. That's F, right? If you got, for example, 65, C plus, right? So it works. All right, so this is working for the first version over here. 